Hey Brain Munchers, it's Zombie Girl here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the forge in 7 days to die. Because if you're a noob like me, you had no idea what you were doing and it took forever to figure it out. So here it is, a quick and dirty video. So you've already made your forge and you set it down and now you open it up and you don't know what's going on. Here you go, I'll help you. So the very first set of drop window thingies is the tools. And here you can put the anvil, the crucible, and the tool and die set. The anvil and the crucible can be created. And if you want help with where to find the ingredients, how to do those things, let me know in the comments below and I will get that video done for you. For the tool and die set, you just gotta hunt for it, like everywhere. I found mine in a hard hardware store, I believe. Um, so yeah, just look around. It took so long, it was very annoying, but I finally found it. And whenever you put these tools in here, you open up more recipes that you otherwise wouldn't have access to. With those three in place, you still have a couple that you need to open up through um, paying for it with your skill set because when you level up you get skill points and then you can use those to buy more recipes but with these three you pretty much have everything you need almost the next set of inventory windows are the fuel for fuel you can use wood coal or oil shell I have not yet gotten oil shell because I'm a noob but I know that you can find it by digging deep in the desert biome Coal can be used for gunpowder, so I'm not going to waste it on my forge. And wood you can get from everywhere. Like seriously, chop up those chairs and tables that you find. And you just plop that in there and that's your fuel inventory. Next we have the smelting window. And this is what really upset me because I had no idea what was going on. But you see that you have two inventory windows here and pretty much what you're going to do is deposit iron, brass, lead, glass, stone, and clay so that you can use what's in here as inventory ingredients to create what's over here in your recipe menu. So you can drop iron, turn on your wood, and there it goes. It will start automatically depositing it into the smelting inventory. You can put small stone. If you wanna get more, if you wanna get everything going faster and you're in a hurry, right click on your stack and drag it over and you can actually get them going at the same time and try to get that stack in there faster. You can also also put raw iron in here and that will start depositing the iron into your inventory not only can you put these ingredients in here but you can also drop whole items like short iron pipes you can even put a car battery I'm not gonna do that because I'm a noob right now and I really need this car battery for something that I've got going on but you can put the trophies in there things that you would normally scrap you don't have to just drop them into the smelting window and they will deposit themselves into the ingredients and you'll have Lots of stuff to create lots of other stuff. Now, if you want to get your stuff back, you, you want to pick up your forge, you want to take it and move it somewhere to another base because you've been totally obliviated by all of the crazy zombies or your friends who are jerks. What you do is you go in and with the exception of raw iron, you can get everything back. So let's say you want your clay back. You will type in clay, get clay. And let's say we, we want to, and you can just create that and it'll pull it from your smelting inventory so voila that's it it's pretty easy after you figure it out even though you spent a really long time and now uh now you feel dumb so yeah there you go one more thing i wanted to let you guys know before i let you go is something that i found out the hard way is that whenever you have a forge going it actually creates kind of like a heat or a heat map for the zombies they can see heat i guess i'm not too smart in this section of the game but if you have multiple forges going at once the zombies are going to come for you and it's because the heat that the forges generate and it's ridiculous and they come in hordes and it's absolutely atrocious and it's terrifying so just be aware of that simple fact that you are going to get beat up by the zombies if they see all these um forges going and they will they'll sense it so there you go guys this is my quick and dirty and absolutely unorganized guide to how to use the forge in seven days to die if you have any other questions and if i know them or i don't i will research them go ahead and leave them in the comments below and i would love to help you out um if i've missed anything feel free to let me know and correct me because i am not ashamed to say that i am showing you literally what i know and that's it so thank you guys for watching i'm zombie girl and i will see you later bye